Hi, my name is Jeremy Koenig, and I'm the president of digital strategy here at Giant Partners. Uh, I have literally spent my entire professional career, about 20 years, generating leads for salespeople. Sales follow-up matters. Marketing qualified leads versus sales qualified leads matters. Your pipeline matters and your ROI really, really matters. And in this video, we are gonna talk about these four key elements of successful salesmanship. Let's get started by talking about uh, specifically what you do when you get a lead. Lead follow-up matters more than you can possibly imagine. Uh, the old Harvard study basically says that you, you're 95% more likely to close a deal if you follow up with a lead within five minutes. This means that the moment that they start chatting with you, they fill out a form or they call, you've got to connect with them with under five minutes. So often what happens as, as we all as consumers do, is we'll actually start researching on Google or social media or somewhere else. We'll fill out two or three forms. Um, we'll contact multiple companies and the first company that contacts us back and builds a relationship is the one who ultimately gets the deal. Uh, when you get a new lead as a salesman, it is so, so important that you properly mark the fields in your CRM that need to be marked because marketers that are generating these leads need to know what was the source, what was the type, what was the database, what was the creative that generated that lead that ultimately became an opportunity and hopefully will become a paid deal. All right, next, we're gonna talk about the difference between an MQL and an SQL, or more specifically, a marketing qualified lead and a sales qualified lead. As I say to so many of our customers on a daily basis, there is no such thing as advertising or lead generation without an offer. And most of the time that offer has the word free in front of it. Free webinar, free consultation, free sample, these really matter. When you're giving something away, ultimately in exchange for lead information this is called a marketing qualified lead this person needs to be followed up with uh, and your tone has got to be helpful you don't want to be the car salesman you want to be flow from progressive how can i help you today the more helpful you can be the better because ultimately you're providing a free service and that free service is what's giving you the opportunity to build a relationship a sales qualified lead on the other hand is a person that already is familiar with your brand they have buyer intent and they are looking to buy something. Sales reps will often sit on their hands and wait for SQLs. Here's the problem with this. SQLs only equate for about half of the revenues within your company. So what that means is if you ignore those webinar registrants, if you ignore those free downloads, free sample leads, you're actually cutting your paycheck and your commissions in half. You don't wanna do that. And so here's what's important. When somebody's looking for help, help them. Be as helpful as you possibly can. Be a resource, be an advocate. When somebody's looking to buy, be direct and to the point and make recommendations on the ways you think as a salesman, they're gonna get the most value out of your product. Next, we're gonna talk about pipeline management. Believe it or not, sales is all about pipeline. Let's just define pipeline for a moment. So pipeline are the forecasted revenues over the course of the next week, month, quarter, year, and beyond. Pipeline values or pipeline contracts typically have three things associated with them. They have some type of a description, they have a value, and they have an estimated close date. Uh, this is how you're gonna be able to tell Am I going to have 20,000 in sales next month, 500,000 in sales next quarter? And the best sales team actually distribute leads, new leads, the most healthy leads based on pipeline. For example, if you got nothing in your pipeline for this quarter, that's bad. You've got to get with your sales manager, sales managers, you got to get with your reps and you got to figure out better ways to, to prospect, to cold call, to network, to get more inbound leads. It's all about pipeline management. Pipeline management is huge. Finally, let's talk about return on investment. This is why it matters, and this is what you need to know as a salesman. Marketers literally broke their backs generating that lead for you. Business owners have spent hundreds, thousands, sometimes tens of thousands, depending on your product, to generate that qualified lead. And when you don't follow up with it well, if you're not following up with it in an uber professional way, 
you are literally wasting the money. You're literally taking money right out of your, your owners and your investors' pockets uh, that otherwise would have turned into revenue for them and for you. Return on investment matters. All right. When you're working a lead, it's so, so important that you market again as a contact that you were able to get in touch with, an opportunity that has a real value associated with it, and then a deal. When you close that deal, when you create that opportunity, when you get in touch with that contact, the best marketers are actually gonna look at, again, what is the source of the lead, what's the channel, uh, and what is the database that was targeted so that we can actually, we as being marketers, can actually make adjustments to where advertisements are being targeted, where, where money's being spent, so that we can generate better leads that have a higher conversion rate in the long term. If you appreciate the content in this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for future information. Thank you so much for your time. Hopefully these four big tips have been very helpful in you becoming a better salesman and a better sales manager.